Changeable week. That's what Carol has in store for us this morning. Good morning, Carol. Good morning. That's absolutely right, Naga. This morning, we're starting off with a band of rain. It's been moving from the west. It's heading slowly eastwards. Ahead of it, particularly so across East Anglia and South East England, there's some fog to watch out for. And as the breeze picks up, that will slowly lift through the morning. But you can see the weather front responsible for the rain. Again, it's been moving fairly smartly, but now it's starting to slow down. Here it is. It produced quite a bit of rain across western Scotland and Northern Ireland overnight as it continues to journey eastwards. Behind it, it will brighten up, but we're not immune to some showers. Now, through the course of the morning, what you'll find is it will brighten up quite nicely across parts of southwest England, Wales, northwest England, Northern Ireland and western Scotland. Just very slowly, this band of rain moves in towards the southeastern corner. Always ahead of it and right just behind it, there will be more cloud. So into the afternoon, some sunshine to look forward to across western areas. The odd shower here and there across southwest England and Wales, but they'll be the exception here rather than the rule. The rain becomes ensconced across Surrey, Sussex, through parts of Essex, East Anglia, Cambridgeshire. And then as we move into northern England, it's bright spells or sunny spells behind the rain. For northern Ireland and for western Scotland, there will be a few more showers around. Not that many, having said that, but above about 100 metres, they will be wintry in nature. But equally, there will be some sunshine in between. Now, as we head through the evening and overnight, we still do have this band of rain, still very slowly pushing towards the near continent. Behind it, some clear skies allowing the temperature to tumble. In towns and cities, just above freezing. In the countryside, below freezing. So we're looking at a widespread frost away from the southeast and away from the northwest. That's because we've got more cloud. Now, and the cloud will clear readily from the southeast, leaving much of England and Wales and eastern Scotland with some sunshine. But already a weather front coming in from the west is going to introduce thicker cloud and then some rain. And that will get into northwest England later on in the day, the cloud thickening across Wales and the southwest. As we move then into Wednesday, that system moves a little bit further south, taking its cloud and its rain with it. The far southeast hanging on to the brightest conditions with some sunshine and temperatures by then, well, we're looking at nines and tens. So the temperature is heading up. In fact, as we head through the week, it is going to get that bit milder. There will be sunny spells, but it's also going to get that bit windier as well. Now getting Charlie. Carol, thanks very much. 18 minutes past eight the time now. Is it acceptable to pay for small jobs cash in hand? The debate started when Shadow Chancellor Ed Balls told BBC Radio 5 Live that he always gets a receipt and keeps a record even for the smallest of jobs. It's prompted a big response from our viewers on our social media sites. Um, Ben's been taking a look at it. Um, not surprisingly, lots of people are commenting on this, asking about whether Red Balls is in touch, politicians, whether they're in touch with really what happens in day-to-day -day life. It is a political mind.